Hey Daryl, we're here at uh, Cisco Live, and there's been a lot of buzz about SIP trunking and how do I save money, how do I integrate my networks together. Um, tell us a little about to how we can, uh, what our customers can do to, to save money with, with SIP trunking, and then how they can aggregate or integrate their services and their PBX into the network, and then application support. So tell us about the, uh, the saving money part. Yeah, sure, Wade. One of the, one of the big expenses that com customers are really dealing with is their high PSTN costs. And that's usually because they have so many inter interconnections to the PSTN from their various branches. So one of the capabilities of SIP trunking is the centralization. And that really occurs by removing all of these connections to these various branches, and instead having a single connection to a centralized unified border element. This centralization of all your connections really allows you to save money by having a fewer number of connections that support a larger number of people. So this fewer number of connections that are supporting a great number of people, reduce cost, reduce complexity, and allow you to add additional capabilities and management. But one of the components that helps makes this a little bit easier is the session manager edition. So can you maybe talk about how we can use the session manager to help us consolidate some of these things. <clears throat> absolutely, so Joe, you're absolutely right. And as I think about all these different offices, these offices may be in different locations. I may have a, a separate PSTN access there, so it's very costly to keep up. So now once I do that, I have all these multiple connections, I can simplify that network a little bit. And I do that by adding a centralized component to the network. That component is called the session management edition. So if I put that in here, what the, and what the session management edition allows me to do is to take all these PBXs and integrate, integrate them in at a single spot. So it simplifies my routing. And one of the key benefits of session management edition is it's multi-protocol support. So I can insert a SIP trunk if I have it, if I want to upgrade my PBX. But maybe my PBX is an old legacy PBX that I don't want to invest in. So, so I, can, I can insert a Q931, a QSIG trunk, PRI. I have a lot of flexibility with how I insert that in. <clears throat> what this allows me to do is have a central point of routing. I can centrally, route on my calls. Do you have a question or comment? Well, well, that's important. Kate, once you have that centralization for routing, it seems like there'd be a lot of powerful applications that you could probably add from that centralized point. Having to interconnect applications to each of my 10 PBXs has always been a hassle. So what can we do now that we've got the centralization of, the, of, the, of all of the PBXs? Yeah, so that's where the power comes in. After I simplify my network by adding session management addition into it, I can now start to insert these applications. Let's take something really simple at first, voicemail. Uh, why do I want to uh, try to maintain voicemail at each of my central sites? I can have a right. centralized voicemail that I can then insert. Maybe I, I connect this into the session management edition with the SIP trunk, and now I have a, a simple, easy connection, and I can use uh, SIP or QSIG technology to, to deliver MWI down to the remote sites. One of the things that this show we've been really excited about is we, we have the new CS. Uh, that we just introduced, uh, pretty powerful, and this one's been a big, big buzz here. Looking forward to getting one of those on my desk. <laughs> Absolutely. So, here's here's one of the key benefits: is is we also have our business to business federation by by a technology called Intercompany Media Engine. It allows us to have interconnection between different companies. Well, think about this for a second. If I have CS, one of my business partners have CS, and I have CS down here at one of my clusters, I can now be able to have CS video connections between the two of wow, us. Wow, that's a very High powerful. definition, high quality video between two different sites, all by just who I'm calling. And then think about, we've also, in this, uh, this show, we've shown a lot of the uh, uh, Quad, Cisco Quad, mm -hmm. which is enterprise uh, social networking software. Allows me to do contextual searches and, and uh, UC applications and, and a whole suite of applications from the social networking side. Right. I can now insert that into my session management edition. And, and plays like mobility. Uh, just think about delivering single number reach, where I can have a phone that calls out to my mobile phone, maybe it's an iPhone, and that same call can be reached and called into my TDM phone that's sitting on my desk. I don't powerful. have to immediately upgrade that. So that's one of the key, key benefits there. So. Yeah. so it sounds like we've got some great benefits. We've got the capability of saving money, that first set that occurs with SIP trunking. You've got that saving money by removing your PSTN connectivity and centralizing it, so you've got that saved money. And then you simplify the network by instead of having multiple connections, have this single connection to the session manager edition. And then you extend by having these additional applications connect off the SME. Sounds like a pretty powerful combination. It's, it's a great combination. So one of these, Daryl, I'm going to do for you is I'm going to save you the trouble of, of self-promoting oh, your book. You. <laughs> Daryl has a great book, yeah, <coughs> Sip Trunking, uh, that Daryl co-authored, and so it's a great book. Daryl, you want to add anything to, to the, my explanation there? Well, I think we can find out a lot more information about the uh, going to the Cisco collaboration community and find out even more about um, these great technologies. Thank you, Daryl. Thanks, Wade.